Hey folks, welcome to prototype number two of the radio knob mechanism from a functional Pip-Boy 3000 Mark IV. This is of course just a chunk of the Pip-Boy uh, done up on an FDM printer as a prototype. Final parts will be done in a high quality SLS 3D print. Uh, so a couple changes on this guy. One, I got a little tiny rad needle in here and then some temporary uh, gauges printed on paper. Final versions will be done on decal. Uh, managed to even 3D print a little tiny needle. Very fragile. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it falls off right now. Uh, final needle will end up being made out of metal. Probably uh, acid etched brass. Or maybe even hand filed. I'm not sure yet. So I wanted to show how the backlight will look. So it won't be side lit, of course, with a flashlight. It'll have three little LEDs that are inside here. That's about the look of the gauge. And then the radio knob gauge will also be backlit. So what I wanted to do with this version was I wanted the needle readout and its position to be directly read by the potentiometer. Not have any slop due to uh, gearing. Um, previously I had the potentiometer connected directly to the knob and if there any gear slipped or just even uh, bounce back and forth, the readout may not be accurate. So what I did to do that, take this apart here. And a screwdriver. Was I had to design, uh, redesign the gears a bit. There goes my needle. Everything's kind of temporarily held together. All right. So what I did was design a sort of half gear. That comes up, holds the needle in place, has a D that fits into the potentiometer. Then to get a three to one gearing, I have a secondary gear, and then this guy is connected to the knob. So as you turn the knob, this turns a little bit of a gear down so that it feels more like an old school radio. So this guy's about ready to, no changes with this. Once I get more of the other stuff done, we'll, of the rest of this project done, I'll start uh, working on more of the electronics. Thanks for watching.